What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. We're going to be talking about Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey in this video here today. So as you see in the title and the thumbnail, that is correct. Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey 3 is confirmed. This is an exclusive that Variety is reporting. It says in news likely to simultaneously delight and appall across the cinema world, a third installment of IP bludgeoning slasher Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey has been confirmed by Reese Frake Waterfield and Scott Chambers of prolific horror banner Jagged Edge Productions. According to the producers, Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey 3 will have a bigger budget than the previous films and will introduce new characters from the original Winnie the Pooh stories, including Rabbit, the half lumps and the Woozles. All will, no long, all, all will no doubt be given sadistic, murderous twists. The news comes with Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey 2 now in US, U.S. cinemas as part of its three-day theatrical run via Fathom events. And just over a year after the release of the first of what is now a quick fire three-part franchise. Despite poor reviews, the original Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey became an unexpected box office smash and cultural talking point in the er in early 2023 for, for a premise that saw the beloved bear turned into a feral sledgehammer wielding serial killer. Made for under 50,000 and earned an incredible 5.2 million globally, one of the best budget to profit office, one of the best budget to box office ratios in cinema history. So the article also goes on to say that the news of a third Blood and Honey feature also comes just a week after Jagged Edge unveiled their low budget horror version of Avengers Infinity War in Pooniverse Monsters Assemble, a crossover film bringing together characters from Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, and various other incoming titles from their so called Twisted Childhood universe alongside Winnie. The film will feature murderous versions of figures including Bambi, Tinkerbell, Pinocchio, Peter Pan, Tigger, Pitlet, The Mad Hatter, and Sleeping Beauty. Pooniverse is due for release in 2025. Whether it goes into production before Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey 3 isn't yet known. So why the hell am I talking about this after I have stated that I am not going to watch these movies until the universe is over? A lot of it has been me just being over dramatic, and a lot of it has also just been me being completely uninterested in watching this movie and this universe after what I saw with that Grinch movie. I was open to it, but then I became one of those people after that Grinch movie saying, the quality is probably going to be very terrible and I'm probably going to find it unbearable and I'm not going to be I'm not going to be pleased with anything I watch from this universe. However, then I see what's happening on Rotten Tomatoes. The film somehow had a 100 percent. Granted, if I look into the context behind it, it explains why the film is now rated as rotten as it probably should be. There was only like six or eight reviews. And I would say going off of by pure luck, you had six good reviews come in and it gave you 100 percent aggregate. Now there's more than six reviews and it has trickled down into the 50% category, I think, over on Rotten Tomatoes. So that's rotten. So it's no longer fresh. Then I'm hearing that, well, I've watched 3C Films review. I've watched Cody Leach's review and all of these mentions of how the film is an improvement over what the first movie was. A movie, again, I did not bother to watch. Now I'm like, well, maybe it wouldn't hurt to check it out. Maybe it wouldn't hurt. And then on top of that, I have a few of you, a small minority of you who are saying you would like me to cover the film or at least the universe and all the updates regarding it and give my thoughts on it when I have time because I'm not going to see that sequel in theaters today. I'm not going to do that because I think today would be its last run in theaters. If I'm somehow able to watch it at home, I will do that. Or when it's available to stream, I will stream it right alongside the first Winnie the Pooh movie and I'll do a review, I guess, for both, because I don't even have a review up for that first movie. I was open to the idea of turning these childhood IPs into horror films up until I saw the quality of that Grinch movie. But I see some people saying that this film is leaning into Leprechaun territory, which arguably I think the Leprechaun movies aren't movies I go around touting about how good they are. They're just so entertaining. And maybe that's what the sequel to Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey is. It's just very enjoyable and it leans into all the right things that I love about the Leprechaun franchise and I'll still be able to come out of it saying that while it was bad I was entertained I'm not against it I'll give it a chance I just wanted to talk about the fact that they have a third film in the works and it's confirmed Variety reported this exclusively this morning budget's gonna be bigger I have no idea what the story will be about because again I have not watched those first two films my whole thing was I was just really turned off to the idea after seeing that Grinch movie. That Grinch movie was so bad. David Howard Thornton, I think, starred in it as the Grinch. He did a great job in the role, but everything around him was just so piss poor. 
And on top of that, I'm thinking about how these films could damage the reputation that horror has. Not to say that horror doesn't already have its naysayers as a genre anyway, but then when you take IPs like Winnie the Pooh, Peter Pan, Tinkerbell, and all of these childhood Disney classics, turn them into these twisted fantasies, then that's gonna make other people who are obviously not as knowledgeable about the horror genre as folks like me and many of you watching me, they're gonna be even more turned off to the horror genre. I'm all about opening up doors and inviting people into this genre so obviously of course i wouldn't invite them in with a movie like winnie the pooh blood and honey or anything to do with this twisted fantasy universe that's being cooked up those are some of the things that were just weighing down on me when it comes to why i wasn't going to engage with these movies one specifically the biggest one was just the execution of that grinch movie i saw that grinch movie and the execution just completely turned me off and then i was already seeing winning the pooh blood and honey getting panned i think 3c films gave it a bad review as well been a while since i watched his video giving it giving it a review and it was just not getting very well received responses i think i had a link sent to me to view it at home i just bypassed it i didn't even bother but i'm going to give pooh pooh bear 2 Honey Nut Cheerios a chance when it's available at home or if I'm able to somehow access a link to watch it at home I will do that and I will give a review on the sequel and I will start covering further things about this universe if I am somehow able to come out of that sequel saying okay I'm on board with whatever they have to go with next I even heard Cody Leach, Cody Leach say they should lean into Freddy's dead territory didn't expect to hear that but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. Did you like that film, Blood and Honey 2? Did you think it was good? Why or why not? Let me know down below. If you have already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.